More trouble tonight for a mission pet shelter that the state's been threatening to shut down for months. Tonight, even shelter insiders are speaking out about the troubled unleashed pet rescue. Fox 4 problem solver Linda Wager. She's been looking into the shelter and she's here with the latest. Yeah, for eight months, we've been tracking this troubled shelter, and just this week, we received more proof that conditions are still not good. This is the latest failed state inspection for Unleashed Pet Rescue, citing, among other things, a live roach, waste disposal problems, and overcrowding. Now, even some working inside the shelter are speaking out, telling Fox 4 problem solvers that Unleashed Pet Shelter needs to close. That's something the state of Kansas has tried to do for months, but Unleashed so far has been able to successfully fight against it. Unleashed's attorney calls these latest allegations false and defamatory, saying they've been manufactured by people who want to shut them down. Thank you for calling Unleashed Pet Rescue. Multiple sources inside the shelter who, out of fear of retaliation, declined to go on camera, accused President Danielle Reno of euthanizing dogs at the same time she's obtaining new dogs from auctions. Unleashed maintains it's in full compliance with Kansas laws and any allegations otherwise are baseless. Six months ago, Fox 4 shot this video of employees bringing crates of dogs into the shelter. We tried to talk to Reno then, but she disappeared inside after seeing us. This photo shows dogs unleashed advertised for sale that still have auction tags around their necks. Who oversees this nonprofit? According to its tax returns, its board of directors is Daniel Reno, Daniel's mother, Robin Norris, and her mother's partner, Daniel Kowecki. Sources tell us a fourth board member has since been added who lives in Florida. Since problem solvers started reporting on Unleashed eight months ago, the shelter has lost its contracts with animal control departments in both Edwardsville and Mission, Kansas. And Unleashed has a license revocation hearing in November with the state of Kansas. The attorney for Unleashed says the organization plans to fully defend itself against what he says are false claims. To read Unleashed's full statement, go to our website at fox4kc.com. Linda Wager, Fox 4.